Hi, I'm Laura. I've got a crazy story that happened when I was in high school to tell you. I'll tell you the whole thing, but just so you get the full picture, let's start back when I was a little kid. When I was about five or six, a family moved into the house two doors down from mine. They had a little boy my age, and from the moment we met, we were best friends. His name was Jake, Laura and Jake, inseparable. In fact, people would always make jokes about how we were gonna end up getting married to each other. Anyway, Jake was the brother I never had. He and I were both onlys, and to top it all off, there weren't any other kids our age in our neighborhood. So we ended up being best friends. We learned to ride bikes together, learned to swim together, played soccer together, we copied each other's homework, we started middle school together, and then we started high school together. We did everything together. I still got the feeling that some people thought that we were gonna date one day, but both of us knew that that was not happening ever. Anyway, here we are in high school and I start to think, maybe I'm a late bloomer because I'm still not interested in boys very much. I held that thought. That was until I met Danny. Danny was this tall blonde guy who transferred to our school from England. He had this awesome accent and he sat behind me in first period science. I fell for him the first time he asked to borrow a pencil. He was perfect! He's cute, huh? Asked Jake afterwards, elbowing me. I turned bright red. Yeah, I guess, I replied quickly. Then I changed the subject. After that, I spent a lot of time trying to get Danny to notice me. I started to care a lot about things that I had never cared about before. I started straightening my hair, trying out cute dresses, and putting on makeup before I went to school every morning. My mom laughed at me and asked if I was trying to impress Jake. Ha, <laughs> right. Danny was definitely friendly to me, but it seemed like he was just nice to about everyone. Just another reason why I liked him so much. I noticed Jake making an effort to talk to Danny too. He was such a good friend. Jake told me he and Danny had a lot in common. They read the same books, played the same sports, and liked a lot of the same bands. The three of us started walking to class together. I never had much to say. Being around Danny made me way more shy than I was used to, so thankfully Jake was there to pick up the slack. But everything changed one afternoon when I was hanging out at Jake's. We were doing homework and talking about school stuff when I noticed that Jake was spending a lot of time looking at his phone instead of his books. A couple of times I had to repeat everything I said because I could tell he just wasn't listening. Normally Jake never looked at his phone. It was always a battle to get him to check his texts. I mean, so much so that usually, if I wanted to get in touch with him, I would just show up at his house. So, anyway, I asked him what he was doing. He was all awkward and says, nothing, just checking my Instagram. It smelled fishy. So, when Jake's mom called him downstairs and he left his phone right there on the couch, curiosity got the better of me. I didn't want to snoop. Really, I didn't. But Jake and I told each other everything. We always had. I just wanted to know why he was hiding something from me. So I turned on his phone and scanned the screen. A new message from Danny. I didn't even know Jake had Danny's number. I debated for a moment, but then I opened it. I'm sure my face turned bright red as I read through a message and then through the whole conversation. And it was a long conversation. Why the heck was my best friend, my male best friend, sexting my crush? I was so distracted that I didn't even hear Jake coming back upstairs. Laura, he yelled, looking at the phone in my hands and the tears I didn't even notice that were running down my cheeks. I can explain. I just stared at him through my tears and threw the phone down. How can you possibly explain this? I thought you were my friend. Friends don't sex your crush behind your back. And ran down the stairs, out his front door, and all the way home. I spent a few hours curled up in bed feeling awful, my mind racing in circles. Was Jake gay? Why hadn't he told me? Was Danny gay? Had I lost my best friend and my crush at the same time? Eventually there was a knock at the door. Can I come in? Asked Jake quietly. I didn't answer, but he came in and sat on the edge of my bed anyway. He started to explain everything. 
He told me that he thought he might have been gay for a while because he had never been interested in girls, but that he was afraid to tell me because he was scared I might not want to hang out with him anymore. And then he thought maybe he just never met a girl he really liked. But then he met Danny and... I really like him, Laura. I know you only saw those texts, but we have so much in common. I'm happy when he's around, and I think I want him to be my boyfriend. Jake was on the verge of crying too. I just looked at him. I wish you told me sooner. It's so weird. In my head, I have this girl crush on Danny, but I don't even come close to knowing him the way that you do. We've only really talked a couple times. I wanted to tell you so many times. I just didn't know how to start, Jake told me. I'm so sorry. Are we still friends? I hugged him. Of course we are. But I'm still mad at you. It took a little while to get over my crush on Danny, but knowing that he was gay helped a lot. I realized that even though I thought Danny was cute, nice, and funny, I hadn't tried to be his friend, and I didn't really know anything about him except from what I found out from Jake. And then, when Danny texted Jake and asked if he wanted to go on a date, Jake asked me if I was okay first. How cute is that? Now, Danny, Jake, and I hang out together a lot. Sometimes I feel like a third wheel, but they're a super cute couple, and Jake and I are closer than ever now that there are no more secrets. Danny and I are pretty close now too. He's a lot easier to talk to now that I'm not constantly blushing and stuttering around him. Besides, another cute guy moved to our school. He's from Australia, and he's so cute! I don't know, maybe I just have a thing for boys with accents. And what about you? Have you and your best friend ever had a crush on the same person? If yes, what happened? Share your story in the comments below. Thanks for listening to my story. If you liked it, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more crazy stories.